Yeah, that's right, Katie. Unfortunately, those uh, two people that were on board, a couple uh, did perish, but their dog was on that um, plane, and that dog was able to escape the wreckage. You could see that wreckage over my shoulder. It's about a quarter mile away in this field. And you had mentioned that um, people are calling these uh, the pilot of this plane a hero. Uh, there was an eyewitness who saw this plane having trouble, and it was flying over some homes. And uh, it looks like the way it went down here, where it crashed, uh, went, like it was trying to make an emergency landing, but away from everything else uh, on the other side of me about a half mile is busy sound avenue and that's where like all these festivities are happening for harbs farm people come out here strawberry picking and uh you know spending the day out here there's wineries so very busy area uh to the south and to the north um and this is just kind of in the middle of, of nowhere the uh, ntsb the national transportation safety board is en route now we're expecting them to be here in about an hour to further investigate what caused this plane to crash what we do know about this plane is that it was a single engine Beechcraft A36 Bonanza that took off from MacArthur Airport about 9.15 this morning and it was heading to New Bedford, Massachusetts well, with two people on board and that dog. This morning at about 9.15, the weather was perfect, uh, so it doesn't look like weather played any role in this crash. Um, I think you saw some video there of some witnesses uh, who were, were the first ones here and that plane just um, went into flames, but somehow that dog was able to get out of the plane. Unfortunately, the two people that were in that plane were not able to uh, get out a, a man and a woman, and they have uh, perished. Uh, the town of South Hold Police Department is not releasing uh, their names pending uh, notification of next of kin. Uh, for now, we are live in Mattituck. Rob Hoyle, PIX11 News.